Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to my channel if y'all are new. I'm gonna be doing a Boohoo try on haul today full of just loungewear. Obviously we're all stuck in our houses and we're working from home, even though usually my job is working from home, but I realized that I don't have any cute loungewear and I feel like it, it makes the biggest difference to wake up and like put on a different outfit rather than waking up in my big sorority t-shirt and just like wearing that the whole day and just like changing the pajamas and the night. So I decided to invest in some loungewear and honestly it wasn't even that expensive. Everything on boohoo.com is super freaking affordable. They always have like 50% off or 60% off but I really feel like that's a marketing ploy like it's just like affordable and they want it to seem like it's discounted I guess. So when people see a sale they're like "Ooh, I should probably buy stuff because it's probably gonna end but they always have like at least 50% off but that doesn't mean it is shitty quality I've been ordering from boohoo for years now when I was living in my sorority house, I would literally order from Boohoo maybe every other month. I highly recommend shopping from Boohoo when you are looking for recruitment outfits or even sorority formals. And anytime anyone saw a Boohoo package in the mailroom, they would just assume it's mine and it was probably always mine. I got so many people hooked on Boohoo and honestly, how can you not? Because the things are just so affordable. It's so easy to just click add to your cart and Yes, it adds up, but it's still not as much as you would spend somewhere else. Also, more recently, I've just been trying to buy basics for my closet and not trying to get super trendy pieces that will go out of style like that um, because I used to buy so many trendy pieces on Boohoo and I feel like I just wore them once. And even though they are super cheap, I just want to be a little bit more sustainable in that way now. If you see anything that you like in this haul, the direct links will be in the description box below so you can check them out after this video and let's get into it. We're starting off this haul with this white bodysuit. It is actually so comfortable. I got it in black and I've already worn it and it is perfect because I don't have to wear a bra because it is tight enough to hold like the girls in but it's not too tight that it's uncomfortable to wear and lounge around in. I will say that this bodysuit doesn't have the clip on the bottom so it might be a little harder to go to the bathroom throughout the day but I still really love this piece because of the material it's just so comfortable. So the next thing I want to show you all is already on my body. These are the sweatpants and I feel like these are getting so iconic. I feel like everyone's like linking them on their Instagram stories because they are so affordable and very comfortable. I mean they're very like basic so you don't really need to spend like over 30 bucks on sweatpants like this um, but I'm pretty sure these are like 15 or like under 15 um, and I also got them in gray I love this color I think it's so cute it's like that neutral nude color um, and I definitely want to get it in black too I'm not sure if they were sold out I think they were sold out in my size which I got a large in this and I'm pretty sure I got a large in pretty much everything I got in this haul I love these and I love pairing these kind of sweatpants with like a bodysuit. I feel like it's so cute. Just slap on some gold jewelry and it's such a vibe. This next top is a bodysuit as well. It's like that Henley button down kind of vibe. I love it because it makes my cleavage look pretty good and I like long sleeves. I feel like it's really nice to lounge in. I know it's going to be summer here soon so I won't be able to wear this for much longer but it's been a nice temperature here in Austin so I'm going to be taking advantage and wearing my long sleeves while I can. This bodysuit does have the clip at the bottom and as you can see it's a very high-legged um, bodysuit so it comes up kind of high. If you guys don't like bodysuits you can just unclip it and wear it as a shirt. Obviously you can't do that with the ones that don't have clips though but you can do it with this top. The next thing I ordered is this black long sleeve crop top and this is the first time I'm putting it on and it is so soft. It is a different material than that um, Henley button-up one but I'm obsessed with this material and you guys have to freaking get this and I'm pretty sure it was like under $10 easily. I feel like a lot of their basics are super cheap so it's hard not to buy a lot at a time. This is the next top. It is a wide ribbed bodysuit and it has kind of like that more square neck feel. Um, I will say this is a little bit tight and I'm pretty sure this is a large um, so if you want it to be a little bit more comfortable so you can lounge in. I definitely recommend sizing up in this one but still I really like my bodysuits to be a little bit tighter because if I'm wearing them at home I really don't want to have to wear a bra like I am now and honestly that might be like why it's a little bit tight because the bra gets like extra you know like 
padding, I guess. I really like this color. I feel like this is definitely a shirt that I can like sit down and film in because it looks good on my skin tone. Um, and then I also wanted to show you guys these sweatpants. These are the gray sweatpants. And I actually checked. I think these are a bit different because they're more athletic looking, I guess. I don't think the other ones have a drawstring band. I didn't see it at least. Um, I think it's just like an elastic band and I kind of like that better, but I still definitely like these. These fit perfectly and they make me look athletic, I guess. <laughs> This top is exactly the same as the black button down, except it's obviously not black, it's in a different color, and I'm obsessed with these nude colors that all these basics are coming out in. I feel like it's very like Mariana Hewitt vibes. If you guys don't know her, she's a blogger and she's very chic. Her whole wardrobe is basically neutrals and nudes, and that is just goals to me. Definitely messed my hair up putting this thing on, but this is the next thing I got. This is just a heather gray hoodie. I really wish I went up a size in this because I feel like it's literally just my size and I love when my hoodies and my crew necks are oversized. They just feel a lot more comfy and cozy. The sweatshirt is on the thinner side, but it still has like that soft um, inside, so it will definitely keep you warm. Next, I have some accessories to share with y'all. So let's start with these cute little dangly hoops. They are adorable and I feel like they just give me very like Indian jewelry vibes and I'm all for that. I really wish one of my family members were getting married soon so I could have an excuse to like wear an Indian outfit and get all glammed up and stuff. Um, but for now, these will do. This next piece is this layered necklace and it actually comes layered so you don't have to like put two clasps on which is nice but then again you can't really like pick and choose which one you want to wear with like another piece so that kind of sucks but anyways these are super cute they are just like rectangle um, pendants and I didn't really notice this because I don't think it was shown on the site but one of the plates has this like chevron pattern which is like I don't know I don't really love that this is what the pendants look like close up so they kind of have like two textured sides to them all right, so next we have these gold bangles, and I feel like they are a little bit big on my wrist, but I'll make do. I'll wear like a sweater or something like the day I wear these. They're super cute. They have like this twisted pattern. I'm super into like the dainty, small, but thick gold jewelry. I love that. So I got two pairs of earrings like that. This one kind of looks like there's two hoops, but it's just kind of like a 3D hoop situation. These ones are probably my favorite. They definitely give me like a majority vibe but they're super freaking cheap, so I love these. These are the last pair of earrings I bought. These are just like some tortoise shell earrings. I feel like they're so cute, and I already have enough like gold jewelry, so I wanted to pick out something a little bit different, um, but this is what these look like. In this lighting, to me, they are a bit more yellow in person, but I feel like from far away, they would look totally fine. This is the last thing I bought from Boohoo. This is just like a headband that has like this ribbon kind of thing around it, and I got inspired because I started watching Kristen John's YouTube videos and she's honestly the cutest and prettiest human being ever. She has so many hair accessories so she's really inspired me to try out different hairstyles like this one today and actually this is like an earring right here it's like a gold earring that's like almost a hoop and I just put it on my hair because it looks cooler like that so I don't know I'm trying out new things and I thought I would just like pick up a headband but I tried it on the other day and granted it was when I didn't have makeup on and sometimes when you try like cute things or trendy things when you don't have makeup on it just does not look right I feel like so it looked a little weird but I don't know should I try it on today I just feel like I eh. what do you guys think is, is it weird? Are we over headbands? Like, let me know in the comments down below. I love hair accessories, but I feel like I just don't remember to actually wear them or maybe I don't have time to like put them in my hair slash like make sure they look right. <laughs> Um, but let me know. Let me know what you guys think. That wraps up this haul. If you guys saw anything you want to check out, the links will be in the description below. If you guys are new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. And I have so much time on my hands because obviously we're stuck in our house and we don't really have that much to do. So I want to be filming and I want to edit these videos and put them up for you guys at least two times a week. So I need content to film and if you guys have any video ideas or video requests, definitely comment them down below or even send them through my Instagram DMs. You can follow me at so underscore gnarly and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!